Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to the Ellison Education video series. You know, your birthday only comes once a year, so I think it's worth making it special. The same is true for the students in your class. You have a couple of options and we're going to talk today about a birthday banner. If I hold this up, you'll be able to see how cool it looks when it hangs. So here it says, Happy Birthday, and the key to making this work is by cutting on the fold. We're going to cut the cupcake on the fold and we're going to cut the letters on the fold. If we start with the cupcake, you can see here's the die and the die actually gives you the parts and pieces that you need so that you can attach a candle or you can attach a cherry. We're going to use the candle today because we're using it to celebrate birthdays. I've placed a piece of tape on the die so you can see I'm going to fold my paper first and then I've placed tape on the die so I can see where I want to align the fold. So I'm going to place this in this position. The reason that I'm not going all the way to the tip, if you look at this, if I put the fold way up here, it has such a small amount to hold it as it overlaps the ribbon. It's best to get it at a thicker spot because I'm going to put an embellished cupcake over the top of it anyway. So once I have the folded edge, then I'm going to take and run it through the machine and because the fold is sitting inside the blade, it's going to keep the fold intact in that one spot. So here is a cupcake with the top of its head cut off. And at this point, what I'm going to do is go ahead and embellish the shape by cutting out the different colors, adding all the different designs. And then I'm going to put adhesive on the folded one and I'll place this one right over the top, just making sure that I align the embellished one with the folded one underneath. So you can see at this point, it just looks like a cupcake, but it's a cupcake that's sitting on this folded edge. So when I place this with ribbon inside and I put adhesive in here and fold it up, you can see how it's going to be a perfect placeholder to separate the word happy from the word birthday. Now you're going to do the same thing with the alphabet. Here is, oh my gosh, this die is so old. This die is like 40 years old. It was here before I was here and I was here in the early 80s. But let me show you what you're going to do. Same thing. You fold the paper before and you place the folded edge so that it is just inside the top blade of the design, in this case of the letter H. You run it through the machine, you cut it out, and you end up with the fold at the top of the design, which means, you know, not only would it stand up, but let me go ahead and put adhesive on this one so you can see how you're going to attach it. Since H is the first letter, I'm going to start at the end of my ribbon, and I'm going to place the ribbon just under the fold and press it down and then lay this right over the top and press and see how it's going to it's going to hang you would continue with the rest of the alphabet and then when you get to the end of the word happy you'll put your cupcake then you'll continue with the word birthday and bada bing you have a really cool birthday banner you know what? A birthday banner, it goes together quickly if you just fold the paper before you cut. 